वेलकम टू दिस फ्रेंड्स सेशन दिस सेशन इज फॉर कॉलीग्स एसोसिएट्स एंड फ्रेंड्स ऑफ स्पेंटा हु वुड लाइक टू से समथिंग वी हैव अ लिस्ट ऑफ नेम्स ऑलरेडी विद अस एंड वी आल्सो हैव अ लिस्ट ऑफ मैसेजेस बाय कॉलीग्स हु कुड नॉट बी प्रेजेंट हियर टुडे हु वुड लाइक दोज मैसेजेस टू बी रेड um it's a rather longish list uh and uh, we have just about 1 hour in which to complete this so uh, uh gautam and i are going to uh to to be uh, moderating this session and uh, we have instructions to be extremely strict about the time limit of 2 minutes per person so <laughs> so what we will do is uh, we will sort of just to break the monotony alternate between actual people coming here and saying something from our list and uh, reading out messages uh, and uh, so let me without uh, further ado start with uh, the first speaker uh, raja ji rajeshekran from imsc <coughs> okay uh, i timed my whatever i wrote it came to 5 minutes but i have ag agreed with him that i will cut it short and uh, he can cut me at any time anyway <coughs> so i suppose my time starts now yes. okay <laughs> uh, <coughs> spenta wadia and his magnificent obsessions uh, which is the how do i do this uh, go to the next one okay This title I have taken from G. Venkatraman's popular book *Baba and His Magnificent Obsessions*. <clears throat> For there is a clear analogy. Just like Homi Baba, Spenta did excellent research and then had a new avatar as a master builder of scientific institutions, a builder par excellence. This is gone. I will, I will omit all these things. So I come to Spenta. I was mostly talking about myself in those, so I will omit all those. Leaving out his achievements in quantum field theory and string theory for others to comment on, let me straight away come to institution building. <clears throat> uh, first about A for when there was an exodus of theories, Mukunda, Pashupati, C K M C K Majumdar, and myself and many others from T A for in the 70s, there were many who predicted the collapse of the T A for theory group. that did not happen instead the group became even stronger spenta ashok san sunil mukhi ashok raina avinash dar sumit das gautam mandal sandeep trivedi atish dabolkar shiras minwala all of them are here what a galaxy <coughs> for a while tfr could boast of perhaps the strongest theory group in the world <coughs> strongest string theory group in the world the credit for this <clears throat> must go to spenta who was the guiding spirit behind the group with that experience behind uh, spenta it is no wonder that he thought of bigger things and succeeded in creating this institution icts <clears throat> uh, some 10 or 12 years ago nava mandal and myself were in mysore looking for a site in ino center now i might remember it and there we met met spenta who was looking for a site for icts we even thought perhaps that uh, we could get a suitable site where we can locate both icts and ino center but look at what has happened the magnificent icts is there in its full glory for all of us to see and enjoy it and not even the first brick has been put up for the ino center that is the difference between spenta wadia and others and the rest of us <clears throat> in august 2016 i visited icts under the invitation of rajesh that is the first time i visited icts i could not believe my eyes in my childhood days i liked to read aladdin and his wonderful lamp many times since i liked the sight of a magnificent palace rising up when the magical lamp was rubbed even now i do not understand how spenta managed this it is sheer magic when i met him in icts at that time i called him the second baba 
I would like to greet him with the same words as the second Baba on this happy occasion of Spenta Fest. Happy birthday to you, Spenta, I don't know where he is, and many happy returns of the day. <clears throat> and uh, I want to say one thing, people have been saying that he has to start uh, uh, working. He is only 65, he is only a bacha. I am 81. Okay, uh, let me read out a message from Edward Brezin. Uh, Dear Spenta, we know each other for a long time, and I have always very much appreciated our interactions, including the large end book that we have edited together. However, I think that it does not make sense for me to be part of the contributors for the coming Spenta Fest. I have nothing to report which would interest the very distinguished list of contributors that have been invited. So I hope you will forgive me to withdraw from this festive gathering. Nevertheless, I'm confident that this homage will make justice to your life as a scientist and as a leader for our younger colleagues. With warm regards. So we can have a Second speaker now, uh, Professor H.R. Krishnamurti from IISC. He will, he will express his own sentiments and then read out Rahul's message. Uh, reverse also. order, actually. Yeah. Okay, my... Uh, Colleague uh, Rahul couldn't be here for personal circumstances, so he requested me to read uh, the message that he was going to deliver himself. So let me do that first and then mm, say a few things myself. Uh, so this is Rahul's message. I first met Spenta in a Lajeus summer school in 1982. Even at that time, he was always excited about the physics problems he was working on, and he tried to impart this excitement to all of us in a manner that was inspiring. Spenta has not lost his excitement over, his, over the years. The spectrum of problems on which he works has grown tremendously. It now extends from string theory to the building of the excellent institution like ICTS. I would also like to mention that Spenta has helped our institute greatly in several ways. We would like to thank him for this, and as a small token of our appreciation, we'd like to present him two books that have been published by the ISC Press. I have this, I will uh, give it to Spenta. We look forward to continuing to work with Spenta and to being challenged by him in our intellectual and academic endeavors. Many thanks and all the best, Rahul. Yeah. So that's Rahul. And uh, yeah, coming to myself, uh, Spenta and I go back a long way. We were uh, one year apart in IIT Kanpur, so uh, I still remember those times. And uh, then we both went abroad, and then both, both of us came back. After that, we met uh, often in TIFR, when I visited TIFR, or he visited I IASC, or uh, you know, sometimes in other places like ICTP. And, uh, and one of the, I mean, you know, we would, he would certainly share his excitement about large and field theories and stuff like that, and he even presented me a copy of the book that he edited which I still have. And uh, then we developed another connection when he married Lena, because Lena is my first graduate student, in case some of you don't know. <laughs> and uh, our interaction uh, became a lot greater after the ICTS uh, effort took off. And in particular, you know, I was happy to involve myself in uh, uh, condensed matter uh, activities uh, as part of the ICTS's uh, efforts, and also assist him in other ways that uh, I could when he was, uh, the ICTS was operating from uh, an office within ISC campus. So, you know, I think ICTS is absolutely a wonderful gift to the Indian science community. So I'm really admired Spenta for all that he has done to create it. I admire, I thank him for his vision and dreaming it up and his perseverance and seeing it through and bring it to reality and his amazing leadership in the way that he brought so many people together to make this possible. So, and also thank him for an opportunity, giving me the opportunity to be a part of this uh, fantastic venture. So, thank you, Spenta. And, uh, you know, so actually, I'm also going to be retiring very soon. So I've um, threatened Spenta that I'm going to be spending two days a week here. And then, uh, so maybe we'll start on another venture where actually we can do some physics collaboration as well. Because I'm also interested in thermalization and I know that he's interested in it. So, so thank you and many happy returns of the day.
Okay, so let me uh, read out the message from Nathan Seiberg. I, it's a short message. I really salute Spencer's contribution to science in general and to building science in India. I can appreciate how hard it is, and I feel that his success should be recognized and celebrated. I wish I could be there with you. So I'll read out also a message from Sri Ram Ramaswamy. My friendship with Spenta goes back to his postdoc and my graduate student days at Chicago in the 1980s. The qualities that made him so much more than a scientist were already evident then. His advocacy of the unity of critical phenomena and QFT was vital in creating a culture among my entire graduate school cohort for educating ourselves in the physics of all kinds of systems with many degrees of freedom, regardless of the particular setting. For me, crucially, this allowed a smooth final transition into condensed matter and statistical physics, despite starting out in rather different areas. Over the years, Spenta has done superb science and created an enviable intellectual environment for doing superb science in the theory group at TIFI Bombay and now in ICTS. These are extraordinary achievements. Our friendship has continued and grown. We were delighted when Lena, a friend from her earliest days in Bangalore, when she did her PhD in the theory group at ISC, entered Spenta's life. With warmest wishes to Spenta, Lena, Neha, and Varun for many more joyful years in science and beyond science from Rama and me. So we will have our next speaker now. Uh, Professor Chandan Das Gupta. We are doing very well so far. I hope that we'll be able to stick to it. Okay, so it's a great pleasure for me to be here where we are uh, sort of celebrating the uh, achievements of Spenta. Uh, a lot has been said already about his academic achievements. I'll not really go into that. I'm not really competent to talk about those things. But uh, uh, what I'd like to do is to sort of congratulate him for his uh, sort of tremendous achievement as institution builder in setting up this beautiful uh, new institute or center, ICTS, uh, which actually has been a great boon to Indian science. <clears throat> so actually, you know, when I came back to India in the middle 80s or something like that, from that time onwards, there have been a lot of talk about setting up some uh, center here, which would be similar to this uh, Santa Barbara Center for Physics. And several attempts were made, like, you know, Essenborg Center in Kolkata, JNC in its early days, they were supposed to serve this purpose of you know, having uh, that kind of a center. Uh, but it took the, uh, the vision, the perseverance, the dedication, hard work of Spenta to actually bring to uh, fruition this kind of uh, an idea or proposal that we have had from, for a long time. And uh, although ICTS is just uh, about 10 years old now, uh, within this short period of time, it has uh, proved to be a, uh, something that has helped Indian science a great deal. Uh, all of us have uh, learned a great deal from the programs, etc., that are being organized by ICTS. Just want to mention uh, one aspect uh, that uh, I think is very important, that uh, <clears throat> not just for us working physicists, but for the students, both undergraduate and graduate students, this has been a great opportunity to actually listen to or uh, interact with uh, world-renowned experts on, on various subjects related to physics or biology or uh, computer science and, and similar things. Just one example I want to give because I have been sort of interacting with a lot with the undergraduate students who are at uh, IISC. I was uh, basically uh, the dean for a few years when this program started. Uh, many of them actually have got placement in very good universities abroad, including Harvard, MIT, Caltech, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, uh, the fact that you know, they could meet some of the professors at these uh, uh, good universities through programs that were organized by ICTS actually played a very important role in their getting a very good placement in these in this good, good places in the world. Uh, so, I mean, you know, for the, on, on behalf of the uh, scientific community, I mean, I'm not sure everybody uh, here also feels that way, I'd like to thank Spenta for his... Uh, a lot of efforts that he spent to bring this thing to uh, reality. Uh, just on a personal note, uh, again, I have known uh, both Spenta and uh, Lena for a, for a long time, for close to about 30 years. And as uh, HRK said, uh, I actually met Lena before I met Spenta because when I came to India uh, first time to visit IIC in 82, 83, she was a student in the Condensed Matter Theory Group, met her at that time. Uh, since then, we have had uh, really, uh, spent a lot of time together in various conferences, other meeting places, had an enjoyable time with both of them. 
And uh, most recently, a few months ago, uh, we had gone to Kigali in Rwanda for this tours meeting, and we uh, we had a very very enjoyable outing together. Just have a picture uh, for uh, uh, Spenta and Lena in one of the places that we visited. I thought, you know, this kind of a sort of romantic picture with uh, in an idyllic <laughs> <laughs> situation would be appropriate for uh, the occasion today. So thanks a lot, uh, Spenta, for all you have done. And, you know, uh, I wish you, Lina, and your kids uh, all the best to come for many, many more years. And happy birthday. So a message from Antal Javiki. Hi, Spenta. I was wanting to write to you for a while. Especially when I learned of the celebration being planned in January at ICTS, I would have loved to participate. It turns out that I was committed to participate as a co-organizer of a school named after S. Stanley Mandelstam in Durban. So I'm sorry that I will not be able to participate in a very much deserved celebration in your honor. Congratulations. I have always been impressed by how much you achieved and at the same time uplifted theory in India. Again, best wishes for your birthday and congratulations. Okay, so our next speaker will be Professor Sorendu Gupta from TIFR. When I was a young student in TIFR and he had just come in as new faculty and that's always a great time to meet people. Uh, so people have already said before me how, you know, things changed in TIFR. We, at that time, I, I and several other people, Avinash and uh, Shankar, were trying to learn quantum field theory. And Spenta came and he said, okay, there's lattice gauge theory and there's, uh, there are these wonderful uh, articles by various people. So we read them and uh, we began to learn quantum field theory, but we weren't sure about how well we would do with it. But one thing convinced us eventually. And uh, that's when we saw that Spenta used to commute to work on this old scooter. Okay. So a guy who can ride a scooter and do quantum field theory certainly gave us confidence that we could do the same. <laughs> so <laughs> Spenta has been a great influence ever since then. I mean, uh, I remember once uh, when I was doing a postdoc in CERN and uh, I had just applied for a job to TIFR and Spenta was there. And, uh, you know, we went to the cafeteria at, after work or something, and I had a coffee, and Spinta said, Kya coffee pita hai? Yaha pe baad hai. <laughs> so, uh, I hope Spinta does the same thing here. I hope you can do, you can buy a beer here. <laughs> okay, so anyway, uh, as I said, uh, he's done great things. We were colleagues together in the department for many years. And uh, I could tell you more stories, except that Avinash is already looking at the list that his, he has in his hand. And also, I've told some of these stories just a few months back when Spinta left TIFR. Okay, so anyway, uh, happy birthday and uh, many years ahead. Yeah. So let me read a message by um, Virendra Singh. Uh, Professor Viran Singh was the chairman of the Department of Theoretical Physics in TIFR when Spenta joined. And uh, later on as, as director, we've known him. Uh, he says, dear friends, he's writing to us, the organizers. I'm very happy that you are organizing the Spenta Fest. We all owe so much to him for his contribution to theoretical physics. Group at TIFR and in particular to string theory activities. I would not be able to personally attend the conference. I wish him a very bright and beautiful future. Uh, I will read a message from uh, Mustan Sir Burma, who uh, is, was the former director of TIFR. It was in his uh, tenure that ICTS really started uh, its uh, construction here. So let me just read that. <coughs> Excuse me. Spenta and I are both products of the same city, namely Bombay, now Mumbai. We both attended the same college, namely St. Xavier's, but somehow our paths did not cross. We later went to graduate school in the New York area, Spenta at uh, City College of New York and I at Stony Brook. 
but once again our paths did not cross. We met finally at TIFR a few years after I joined, when Spenta visited and gave a set of lectures on large N. Not too long after that, Spenta joined TIFR as well. We then spent many years together as colleagues in DT. I am sure that Spenta's role as a researcher as well as his efforts in building a most successful string theory group within DTP have been brought out by others. As the first center director of ICTS, he took on the difficult job of trying to build a world-class institute within the constraints of our system. He should know. Sorry, that was my... <laughs> ICTS today is just that, a world-class institute. Spenta and his team have built an outstanding institute that is a feather in the cap for not only the Tata Institute, but Indian science as a whole. To conclude, I would like to send warm greetings from one Bombay boy to another from Hyderabad to Bengaluru. <laughs> I wish you all the best in the years to come. And uh, and uh, now, G. Ravindra Kumar, Professor G. Ravindra Kumar from TIF. Good evening. It's, it's really great to be here. Um, I'm not a string theorist. I'm not even a theoretical physicist. <laughs> but the fact that I'm here says a lot. And I speak for a lot of people who wish they could be here from Kolaba. And uh, they couldn't be here. So I represent all of them. And I have, it's two minutes too short, and I have two roles. So I hope I can discharge both of them before Avinash uh, starts looking at me. Uh, you know, when I first came, Spenta was already a very sort of revered, powerful figure at TIFR. Sort of looked up to him for lots of things, though he didn't know about my presence there. And the fact that I'm at TIFR today has to do something with him, because one of the first presentations I made, Spenta was sitting there listening to me. <laughs> so I must have done something right, which is why I've been there for 24 years now. And over the years, you know, many people talk to you and give mentorship. Some people uh, sort of are in your face and you know you have to take their advice. But Spenta has been there for many people. Uh, just by the deeds, I think the mentorship has sort of, you know, permeated. Uh, he didn't have to talk to many of us, just the way he did things. And his reach, his perspective. So he's great at string theory that everybody says, but he's also good at stringing people together to get things done, which is, I think, not so easy. And uh, his uh, leadership has been talked about. ICTS is mentioned as one of the things. Uh, but I guess it's far wider than that. And in recognition of everything that he has been, everything that he has done at Kolaba and continues to do at TIFR here, right? ICTS is TIFR. So uh, we were privileged to honor him. It was actually an honor to the TIFR Alumni Association with the Excellence Award, which we believe recognizes the heights of excellence that a person at TIFR or a TIFR alumnus has done. And when we gave him this award, Spenta was far away. He was in CERN. He said, you couldn't be here. So I said, OK, I'm going to catch him today to recognize him in your presence with this excellence award. And as a token of that, I have a, you know, somebody showed flowers. Chandan showed flowers a while ago. And I have flowers for him. So Spenta, please come forward. And by the way, you could have done all this without Lena. So if Lena could come forward too. <laughs> Please, <laughs> you won't be. <laughs> and of course, this also goes to uh, Varun and uh, Neha. So the flowers, the fragrance, the, the fragrance may also spread to you and enjoy that. <laughs> Please. <laughs> so it's from all of us. Congratulating you in person. And wishing you many more years. And I should also say that we miss you in Bhaskara. We look up and we don't find you. So we, all of us miss you. Thank you very much and congratulations.
So now I'll read two messages, uh, one after another. One is uh, from Andy Millis, Simons Foundation, followed by K.R. Srinivasan. And after that, Sudhakar Panda will uh, come up here and uh, give a message. I mean, say a few things. All right. So here's Andy Millis uh, of the Simons Foundation. On behalf of the Simons Foundation, I write to congratulate Spenta for his achievement in establishing the ICTS. This wonderful institution is making crucially important contributions to science in India and internationally. We are proud to be able to provide a little bit of support and are very grateful to Spenta for getting it launched. So now, K.R. Srinivasan. Dear Spenta, I just heard that there will be a special session in your honor at the upcoming String Theory meeting at ICTS. I'm sorry I cannot be there to participate in this important occasion. This note ought to do for now for expressing my best wishes to you on this special day and for the future. It is hard to imagine your age to be 65, and the only sign of that seems to be the preponderance of gray hair that I see in the photograph on the conference website. Though Ramanujan would have made something special out of the number 65, it's just a number, and life moves on, it has just moved on for me. I fondly remember our several conversations, begun first while I was at ICTP, continued off and on later, though only fitfully. I remember our discussions about ICTS before it became a reality, and after that as well. One thing we agreed on readily, it is not enough to do things, but it is important to do them with good, ta good taste. Whether it is picking a research problem or designing a program, or drawing up a plan for a building, or running an institute like ICTS, it is good taste that sustains good vibes, which are so essential for the continued success of an enterprise. You have that good taste for which I have admired you. I should have a subtitle here, the Spenta is a good painter. Not too many people know this, perhaps. I congratulate you on reaching this milestone and wish you the very best for many years of interesting life. My best to your wife as well. With some luck, we'll see you sometime this year, your friend Srini. Now, Sudhakar. Good evening, everyone. It's really an honor to be in the friends list of Spenta who can get their two minutes here today's evening. <clears throat> and first, I should thank Spenta, actually, for agreeing this function to take place, because it's almost six years me and my friends are running after him to agree for such an evening, and he was avoiding, and kitna dur bhag beta. So today it has happened. Um, everything has almost been told. I'm afraid that I will copy some of them, but I will say first, when I first met Spenta, this was 1985 in IIT Kanpur in a conference. <laughs> I didn't know he spent that idea. Yeah? When he came up to give his talk, he was introduced David Gross of India. But at that time, I also didn't know who is David Gross. So it didn't make much, it didn't make much sense to me. So, but at least a few years later, I understood why he was introduced as David Gross of India. And I was happy today evening, actually today morning, uh, when David saw those photographs, her Spenta was quiet and normal, and every day as he agreed, he was a bit anxious. And the reason is clear. Whatever Spenta wanted to achieve, not, for him, not only for himself, but for also for India, and for the end for string theory community of the world, he has achieved. So that is the reason he is absolutely normal, and I must add to that, uh, my friend Lina, along with the son and daughter, has helped him to achieve this normalcy in life. And I hope just be spent at the way you are today, not 35 years ago when I saw you, you were very aggressive, as your friends say, and it took some time for me to even first time have a conversation with you. But after that conversation was over, Spenta came 
One afternoon to my office, I was not even a student, I was a PhD student in the Institute of Bhupanesha, visiting CIFR theory group, and suddenly gives me a surprise. I had just done some string theory amplitude calculation and shown him, and a couple of months later, he comes and tells me, you are going to Singapore, there is a conference. They will pay everything for you. And not that, that time I even didn't have a passport. He asked me, run to Bhubaneswar, get your passport and go there, and I obeyed. Thank you, Spenta, for your help. That gave me courage, not only to talk to you again in future, but to pass the world myself. Thank you very much. Uh, I should also add here that everyone thinks that this building is made by some architect. Ten, Spenta had to sign only tender documents or some financial transaction. And I assure you, it is not like that. It is too much of work involved. Sometimes you go requesting people to whom you would have, uh, you would have better off not talking at all. He has gone through those cloudy days, but at the end has presented not only to India, but also to the world as such a beautiful institute. And we all should give a hand to him for this. So I am going to read a couple of messages. One, the first one is by Jitu Mayer, director of NCBS. He says, do convey my heartfelt con congratulations to Spenta for not only his contributions to science, but also to his bonhomie and camaraderie and his zest for all things near and dear to my heart in science and its practice. Um, then I will read this message by Shayantani Bhattacharya. Shayantani Bhattacharya was a student of Shiraz. Is he here? Uh, in ICTA, in uh, TIFR, um, and uh, she could not come, so she writes to Spenta. Respected sir, I am very sorry that I could not attend this meeting. I very much wanted to. I wanted to thank you for all your support for us. When I was in TIFR, I had such a protected life that I could not even realize it. Now, seeing the situation for students in other institutes, I have understood how fortunate we were. Didn't we hear something like this in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> Apart from study, not a single other thing we had to worry about. While in TIFR, I just did not know that funding could be an issue. You passed everything so smoothly for us. Now only I have started realizing how rare it is to have such a nice environment with so many very, very good people around, at least in our country. And now I know how much effort you had to put in to build this academic environment for us, where work is of highest priority. I was reading your interview that is posted in the conference website. It is so inspiring. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for all your patience, affection, and support towards us. Okay. Uh, may I request uh, Abhishek Dar now? Professor Abhishek Dar. ICTS. Okay, so uh, I mean, I joined uh, ICTS in 2012. I mean, I was the first faculty here. So I uh, I remember in 2011, uh, I got a phone call from Spenta, and then we met at uh, uh, Parista in uh, Newville Road, and uh, uh, and uh, so we had a discussion and. Uh, I remember, like, I, so he uh, asked me about, like, would, would I like to move to ICTS? And, I mean, the discussion was so inspiring that I, uh, I think I made the decision almost immediately. I mean, uh, uh, and uh, so this was in 2011, and in 2012, I joined ICTS. So I think people have, uh, like, uh, mentioned various aspects, uh, uh, and uh, the fact that uh, Spend has managed to build this uh, amazing place. Uh, so I think one reason why, like as an insider, I would say the reason he has uh, succeeded so well is, uh, I think, his ability to inspire people, uh, the people in ICTS, for example, and really work, uh, make uh, kind of uh, uh, push us into working at the kind of edge of our abilities. Okay, so I think like if you look at ICTS, I mean, everyone is working really hard. Uh, at the, and they are uh, at the edge of their like intellectual and physical abilities, which is I mean, not just for. Uh, the academic people, the non-academic people, and everyone. I mean, people are really we are like we actually don't sleep. <laughs> uh, 
so that's uh, I think uh, uh, that's really something spent as is uh, uh, really done really well. Uh, so I met uh, so I was a graduate student in TIFR, and uh, I mean the one of the first time I interacted with Spenta was. I did a reading course on spin glasses with Mustansir and uh, Spenta was, uh, was uh, going to be the examiner. And uh, then some of like my seniors told me that uh, he's going to ask questions on random matrices. Okay, so then actually because of that, I started reading Mehta's book on random matrices. And uh, I mean, so indirectly actually, I learned a lot about random matrices just because of uh, of the what was going to be, uh, uh, yeah, and so I actually uh, uh, in the exam uh, uh, in the exam he did ask about uh, uh, the uh, what was the eigenvalue distribution and uh, I I knew that so that was good. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, so I think that I uh, want to thank Spenta for uh, having me here and making this uh, like uh, enormous contribution to science, uh, not just in India, but in the world. I mean, for the entire world, I think. Thanks. Okay, now I'll read uh, two messages, uh, followed by uh, some, uh, but if, uh, okay, so who is a physical person coming after that? That's P. Ajit. Uh, <clears throat> this seems to be better now. Um, Okay, so let me read out. Uh, the first message is from uh, Narayan Murthy, uh, founder Infosys. Uh, thanks for your kind invitation. I have tremendous respect and affection for Spenta. However, I'll be busy those days. Therefore, I may not be able to attend the festivities. Please excuse me. My best wishes to Spenta and the Institute. The second message is from Vivek Montero. So he's the secretary Center of Indian Trade Unions, Maharashtra. I'm grateful to my physics teacher at St. Xavier's College, Professor R. V. Kamath, for introducing me to two young first year students, Joseph Pinto and Smenta Wadia, when I was doing my final year BSc. Otherwise, in a large college like St. Xavier's, first year students might never have met a BSc senior. Spenta, Joe, and I quickly became good friends because both these young guys had those special qualities which I appreciated. Always asking questions, willingness to go out of the ordinary, and stubbornness to persist. This quality of always trying to get to the bottom of things is common to good scientists, detectives, and journalists. Spenta became the first, Joe the last. Joe tells me, <laughs> that when Spenta joined St. Mary's, he was not the scholar type. In fact, quite far from the top of the class, he was only interested in drawing and painting. And so the class teacher put him to sit next to Joe, the scholar, hoping to reform him, <laughs> which in hindsight seems to have been a brilliant decision. As soon as we met in college, Spenta showed me his own original proof of the infinity of prime numbers. Euclid's proof is based on constructing oh, Euclid's proof is based on constructing a number which is not divisible by the first n prime numbers for any n is by multiplying those primes and adding one to their product. The young school student Spenta's proof was based on constructing such a number in a different way by adding the inverses of the first n prime numbers. I was really impressed, and rightly so. It is this rigor in thinking due to which he does not shy away from taking stands on social and political issues. For him, science is not a subject, but a way of seeking truth and validity in all areas of reality, including social reality. I only wish he had decided to retire to Mumbai and not in Bangalore. Vivek Montero. Now it's Ajit. Okay. Um, hi, Al. Um, so I've known Spenta only over the last five years. I'm probably the youngest associate of Spenta. But I've had the opportunity to work very closely with Spenta over the last four years after I joined ICTS. Um, 
So one thing uh, struck me about Spenta's personality is that his priority is almost always right. He got the right priorities, almost always. And once he is convinced of something, he doesn't mind uh, using a bit of bulldozing to get it done. And I think it's absolutely important to, get, uh, to have such people uh, to get things done in India. And I, I value uh, such uh, a mentor um, um, around me so that I don't have to do the bulldozing myself. <laughs> Um, so, I, I know, I, I want to say something else also. Um, I have uh, a close colleague, uh, a friend, uh, who uh, um, we shared an office with uh, in, in, in the U.S. when I was a postdoc. So she went to South Africa a year before I went back to India because uh, both of us sort of wanted to go back to our countries. Um, so we met uh, last month, a couple of months before, and we you know, compared notes. And I was very happy that I came back, and uh, she was still struggling with the system uh, in South Africa. And one thing she said uh, st really um, struck me as very, something very important. Uh, she said that it's very important to insulate young people from the rough weather outside so that they don't lose hope. And it's something we are, uh, we are very fortunate to have, uh, you know, um, uh, Svanta and, and uh, the, his colleagues constructed uh, Avinash Rajesh. Uh, constructed this very warm environment around us so that we are not really, um, we are well insulated from the rough weather outside. And we can continue. We don't lose hope. We can continue to work. And uh, thank you very much, uh, Spenta, and all the best. I have uh, one short message to read by Raja Ram Nityananda. And after that, uh, I will invite Ms. Mukesh Dodan, who is the Head of administration here to come and speak. Uh, Rajaram, dear Spenta, have just sent in my apologies for 11 1. <laughs> Would have been good to listen to the talks and join in for dinner and shake you by hand for the major jobs you have done, quite apart from the physics. All I have to do is to compare theory physics as it was in 69. You may or may not know, I was a TIFR visiting member for a month or so to what it is now. And of course, look at ICTS. All the best. <clears throat> okay, Mukesh do then. Good morning, everybody. It's actually an honor to share my thoughts about my mentor, Professor Spenta Rustabadia. Uh, since the beginning of my career here, I noticed that every official I've ever interacted with had a story to share with me about their interactions with Professor Wadia. I could always feel their affection and the respect they had for my boss. In one way or another, he had touched lives of each one of them in a very memorable way. I am fortunate to have a big bag full of such memorable incidents. I truly admire Professor Wadi as a leader. He's grounded, yet with eyes on the big picture. He's firm, but fair. He's a perfectionist, but forgiving. He's a tough taskmaster, but very, at the same time, very considerate. When uh, we moved in the new campus, he once told me that Rules of the peace and rules of war are very different. I have observed him very closely during the war times. I salute you, sir, for everything that you have done, made us do, to reach the day when we are celebrating your day with our people in our campus. Thank you very much. Okay, so Thank you all. Thank you very much uh, for being here and thank you for speaking here. Uh, and also to all the friends who wrote from, uh, who wrote uh, messages because they could not come here. Uh, so uh, since I don't see any pressing hand up who may want to speak, I'm going to close this session now. So, ah, okay, Navamandal, just one. Just two minutes because food and drinks are waiting outside and, and there is a lot of fun as well. Well, I think I have to speak here. 
because my encounter with uh, Spenta was unlike any of you. For some reason, in my early career, I had to go underground. Let's not discuss it here. And you know, when you go underground, then you have to, you know, you are starving for physics. And I'm a physicist, so I was starving for physics. And I was waiting that somebody will come and meet me there and uh, talk about physics. And in those days, Spenta came there to meet me. And not only he came there to meet me, he brought another physicist, of course, along with him. And that is Professor, his, his, his own guide, Professor Nobuo Namu came with, uh, to meet me underground. That was an honor. Well, after that, I was so fond of Spenta that he was in Bhaskara, 810, and I was, I was really looking forward to go close to him. So I managed to get 710. And I never moved from there because Spenta never moved from 810 Bhaskara. Even bigger flats were available to him. So we stayed together till I retired from TIFR and uh, there. So that was my encounter with him. But apart from that, what I wanted to say that TIFR is blessed, that it has produced many institute builders. I'm not going to talk about his science, from Homi Bhabha to Professor Menon, Professor Sikantan is sitting here, Gavin Soru, Obed Siddiqui, Spenta is in that category. He has built this beautiful institution. But Spenta has to go beyond that. There are many such institutions waiting to be built. LIGO India is coming up. I know he's still struggling to go up the ground. And I think you need, we need Spenta's help to get this going. And I hope that will happen. Thank you, Spenta and Lena. And of course, and when I leave 710, I also, we, myself and my wife, missed the piano recital of Neha. Thank you all. Okay, is there any other pressing, absolutely pressing hand? Uh, this is an occasion to also pull the legs of Spencer. So I think I'm eminently qualified for that. Uh, in this whole gathering, the one who has known Spenta the longest is uh, probably me, uh, because I saw his application for MSc admission in IIT Kanpur. <laughs> that was before any of you had any encounter with uh, Spenta. This uh, admission application was a, a very interesting one because it is accompanied by a letter of recommendation from Professor Kamath and somebody else. And we were forewarned that uh, this guy is uh, messes up on all his examinations and probably he will mess up in your interview also. But then he is actually smart. He asked several questions. So we decided that uh, we should in fact ask him questions and allow him to question us provided he answers our questions. Um, but to cut the long story short, he did answer questions and we did in fact admit him to MSc program. And of course he kept asking us questions uh, and we kept answering some of them probably and he will tell us whether we answered his questions or, and inspired him or maybe he left us and went somewhere else for better answers. Anyway, a couple of years later, he went to City University of New York and uh, I was very thrilled because I happened to meet uh, Bunji Sakita, his supervisor at uh, Syracuse University. Um, Bunji and uh, Kameshwari were very good friends and it is often good to visit friends. And Kamesh introduced me as a person who is visiting Syracuse University from IIT Kanpur. The first reaction of Bunji Sakita was, ooh, IIT Kanpur, 
that must be a great place. We have a very wonderful students from there. Well, that is a good compliment for IIT Kanpur. Thank you very much for Sir Spenta to keep IIT Kanpur flag flying. Thank you. Let me thank you all again for being here with us today. Uh, and let me also wish Spenta uh, the best for his uh, 65 on beyond, the journey beyond 65. <laughs> And also his family, Lena, uh, Varun, uh, and Neha. All the best. <laughs>